Ooh, I made it back from the flea market. I got some really fun things. Super excited. Let's see everything I got. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller. A thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another haul video for you guys today. This is a haul from yesterday's video you seen when I went to the flea market with Luke. Um, I ended up spending a total of $154, so a little bit more than what I normally spend. Yes, I know, but it was a flea market, and it was a fun day. Me and Luke went and spent the day there and then went and had lunch at Applebee's and watched part of the game, so it was a good day. But Okay, so let's get into the haul. It's going to be like a short one. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter video because I didn't get a whole lot, but I did get some fun things. So the first thing that I got, I stuck in my cart, was this. I love, love, love these style of lamps. These are Atomic UFO style lamps. And it's brass. It's just, I love the color. It's a very nice, chic lamp. I plugged it in, it does work. And I just love the style. Here, let me unwrap this cord here, there, see? I just love the shape of it. I just think that's so cool. So I got that atomic um, lamp. It's not, you know, vintage. It's a newer one, but it's still cool. I love it. And then I picked up this. Now I need to do a little bit of research on this. I, it's a picture, it's older. I love the design on there. I think it's fabulous. Isn't it so pretty? And there's no chips or cracks. It's in excellent condition. You can feel like right here, you can feel the pottery. It's really cool. And it's what's neat about this one is it's signed. I, so I need to see if I can do a little bit of research, but you guys know me. <laughs> I really don't do a lot of research. I just, Buy what catches my eye, and this caught my eye. I really, really like this picture, so I thought that was a nice piece. And then I did end up picking up this vase. I just think it's so pretty. Oops, it's got the tape on it still from the tag. Um, I just think it's very, very pretty. It is brass on, like enamel on brass, and then it's like inlaid with this mother of pearl. It's a beautiful peacock bird with flowers. It's not marked. I just thought it was really pretty. I love the black on the brass. I just think it's gorgeous. So I picked that piece up. And then the mother of pearl inlay is really pretty too. And then I picked up these. It's a set of two bowls. Now, I'll probably sell these separately um, because they say different things on the bottom. But aren't, isn't that neat how it's all hand-painted? I love, love, love color colors. But look at all those people. Look at all those people painted on there. I think it's so awesome. It's very, very, very pretty. And then again, it is signed on the bottom. And this one's wood, you can tell and see it's signed. But actually the name, now that I'm looking at it, the name, this bull's, I don't know if it's wood or not, it's lacquered all the way around it. It's beautiful, but it says a different thing up there. But the name, the signature is the same, I think. What do you guys think? I think it's the same pretty much. But isn't that gorgeous? Look at all those people. I think this piece is so awesome and so unique and super beautiful. I mean, 
there's like a hundred people on there. Super cool. And then I picked up this awesome, awesome pottery. It is redware, as you can see on the bottom. And I've never seen a, a redware pottery horse like this. Very unique. Again, you can feel all the texture and the paint on there. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's no chips or cracks. And what did I call it? A donkey or a pony? I don't know. I think it's a pony, maybe. But it's so awesome. I love it. Super pretty. And then I did pick up these. I love finding these beaded um, art pieces because I just appreciate all the work that went into them. And this is a, an amazing seahorse. I love it so much. It even has eyes. It's all beaded, all of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I appreciate the work and effort and time that went into making this. And it, this one has a little hook, so if you want to, you could take this hook off if you want. Um, but if you want to hang it, that would be cool. So I left that on there. It's so pretty. All beaded. And then I found this beautiful, beautiful piece of art glass. I absolutely love it. It is stunning. It's got a smooth, polished bottom. It's thick. It kind of looks like Costa Boda, but I don't know. It's so pretty. I like how thick it is. And you know me, and I love art glass. So it's a very, very pretty piece. And then I found this vintage recipe box. I need to get some of that sticker residue off there. But it is full of vintage recipes. Now, most of these are handwritten in here. There is a bunch of cookies and cakes and pies and stuff like that. A bunch of those recipes in here. They're bunch of all handwritten there's some that are cut out you know from like magazines and stuff but there's tons of handwritten ones so that is pretty pretty exciting marshmallow pineapple dessert mmm yummy I thought that was cool so a lot of people love the vintage recipes and this is a nice this one comes in a box so and it's in good condition. It is the Ohio Art Company. And it is metal, like the vintage metal recipe box. And then I did pick up this, just a vintage wood painted box. I thought it was really pretty. It's all wood. Nice condition. Just a little trinket box. Isn't that pretty? I like the colors on there. Is that signed? No, I thought that was signed at first, but that's not. That's just part of the wood. I thought that was pretty. And then I did pick up these. I This is probably my favorite. Well, one, one of my favorite things that I picked up um, is this set of mid-century beaded fruit. I love, 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 love love this piece so much this is a big giant beaded pineapple it is all beaded it is super 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 cool it's in very very good condition those are like the vintage push pin beads so awesome and then to go with it is three littler fruit so it's a whole set it's a whole set of beaded Pushpin uh, mid-century beaded fruit. I am so excited about these. Super excited, especially when I, I, I've never seen these. I've never seen this one before ever. I just think it's super cool and I love it so much. And then I did pick up this awesome, gorgeous mid-century planter. 
I absolutely love it. It is in fabulous condition. I love the color. It's like a beautiful light blue on the inside and then it's textured. I don't know the maker of this. It looks sort of like Hager, but it's not marked, so I don't know, but it's, I love the lines. It's just a gorgeous piece and you can feel the texture. You can kind of see it. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. It's just so pretty. Such a nice, beautiful piece and no chips or cracks, so that's pretty cool. And then I did pick up two of these. They are heavy. I did get two of them. They are chunky, chunky glass. You know me, I love my art glass. They kind of look like fire and light, but they're not signed. Um, they're not signed at all, so I don't know. I have no idea, but I think they're pretty. And if you stuck a little tea light in there, imagine what that would look like lit up. How awesome. See how thick and chunky they are? They're in really, really good condition. And like I said, I did get two of them. I did end up finding two of them. I don't know if they're bookends. I mean, they could be bookends if you wanted them to be. I'm selling them separately because they're beautiful art glass pieces. So, And then I found this amazing, awesome, vintage, beautiful framed cruel. This is very lightweight, even the frame. It doesn't barely weigh anything. It's in good condition. It's got the string to hang it on your wall. The frame color matches. It's so springy, so beautiful and fabulous in amazing condition. And this would look so good on a gallery wall. Isn't that so pretty? I love this piece. So that is cool. And then last but not least, I got this beauty. I love her so much. I fell in love with her as soon as I seen her. Let's fix your hat there, girlfriend. I fell in love with her as soon as I seen her because I just felt like she needed to be a part of my family now. See, she is quite a bit larger than my other ones, so I'm going to have to find a place for her um, because she is quite large. She is awesome. I love her. I just, when I seen her, I just felt an instant connection, so I knew she had to come home with me. So that was it, guys. Like I said, I didn't get a whole lot, but I did get some really, really, really fun, fun, kitschy treasures. So what do you guys think? I know it was kind of a little bit of a shorter video, but I wanted to show you everything that I picked up at the flea market. So comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time at the flea market. Um, and as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email and I can let you know if it's going to be available or if it's going to be available in a live sale, which more than likely it will be. Um, but you can always send me an email. My email is junk to be loved at gmail.com, all lowercase letters, no spaces. Um, I list every once in a while on eBay and Facebook marketplace. And those links will also be in the description below as well too. But most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales. I host my live sales right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So you want to make sure you hit that bell button. That way you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video. Because every once in a while, which will quite often actually, I'll have a random pop-up live sale that's not scheduled throughout the week. Um... And you don't want to miss those because they are a lot of fun, like last night's, um, which most of the stuff that you've seen w was already for sale. Um, so that's why I say it's important you hit that bell button and make sure you're subscribed to all. And that way you'll get notified when I go live. So, yeah. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.